Totally screwed. Oh, it was, it was very nice meeting you guys. No, yeah. very it's nice been a well. pleasure. You want me to sign that? Sure. No problem, dude. Now, by the way, I'm just assuming people want my autograph. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey! <laughs> Can you send my baby? Yeah, no, right? <laughs> 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 man. It's a pleasure meeting you guys, man. It's nice. Thank you for thank, thank you for watching you so the show. Much. It's so oh, please. Please. Thank you. No problem. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. You bet. Who's up? Who's up? Just wondering, uh, family. So often they seem like just talking heads, you know, spitting out jokes at each other. And uh uh I'll watch a five minute movie. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll do that in a heartbeat. It's, uh, there's no uh, promo, especially network promo, you know, where they shoot these individual things and network little pieces. What's fine is everybody's lawyers never take anything unsolicited without coming through an attorney from anybody uh, through commercials or through promo. And, like, uh, you would be shocked because uh, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of great boutique agencies that. Um, you know, they, they play and always under budget. And so, and then they're like, hey, why don't we give this TV movie to him? And then suddenly he's because just like, say I'd taken her screenplay, just her finding later on one of you and said, yeah, she'll I'll watch a five minute movie. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll do that in a heartbeat. And it's, uh, there's no one a writer's assistant. I, if, I, if I was starting over again, yeah, I would, I would, you know, make <laughs> No problem. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. You bet. Who's up? Who's up? Just wondering, uh, parents have like 160 channels now. And I think that one of the issues for comedies, especially when I'm reading like some of the new shows that they're making, yeah. of getting their 30 or 40 clients. Right. You know, and, and the, the only thing that to do it, you know, like right. I got a gig off from other things. A lot of that, and I'm just going through my head. The reason I'm going down is all the writers I've hired people to actually directing TV really? apps. Yeah, that's good to know. It's a it's a cool way in. Is to do it, you know, like right. I got a gig off from other things. A lot of that, and I'm just going through my head. The reason I'm going down is all the writers I've hired. Um, no, you know, I've only hired one that was a writer's assistant on a different show before. If I was telling you what to prioritize, you'd prioritize getting some kind of job that you can pay your rent but still have time to write. Yeah, I've got that. If so, it, it's, yeah. it's, honestly, to me, you know, to me, it's the coolest thing about writing versus acting is in acting they're rejecting you as a person and in writing they're just rejecting that one thing. Yeah, you know, that one, yeah and so... Uh, one of the things that I find that representatives, you know, potential agents really respond to is, uh, you know, A, the lie that you're really quick, which you can just trick them, you know, you know what, I'm going to go write an office spec and you already have one done. I write web day. content for a living, so I am really quick. Oh, well, there you go. The but the other is to, to uh, uh, you know, the, the uh, amount of material you write and having a bunch of it will impress them. The, the true reality of TV is that it's about representation, you know right. what I mean? Because every agent is going to have a direct line to you through your production company, through the agent, uh, your agent, of getting their 30 or 40 clients. You know, and and the, the only thing that I tell people that they don't realize is it doesn't have to be ICM, uh, CAA, UTA, Endeavor. Uh, you know, the harsh reality is a bunch of great boutique agencies that um, you know, they, they, they run a sad business because they run the business of representing young writers until they get jobs. Like, you know, I, I have a bunch of writers on my staff that work in smaller agencies. And then obviously as they work up the ranks, the, the big agencies come and go, we'll take that money and then I can sign it, which is the way the business works. And they get more opportunity. But any type of representation that you get there's a person that actually believes in you is so much more important than a writer's assistant. I, if, I, if I was starting over again, yeah, I would, I would you know, make my entire life, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have spent any of the time I spent trying to get a job on a production. I would have made my entire life grinding away, trying to get in front of some agent that actually took an interest in me. Okay, fantastic. Right. Thank you for the advice. You bet. Hey, man, Bill. How are you? Yeah. The extension, you'll actually be able to get down on a normal line. And uh, if you send a DVD with a note, I always watch those. It's easy. Be liable if there was a lawsuit because I did something akin to that. On the other hand, because every agent is going to have a direct line to you. But any type of representation that you get, there's a person that actually believes in you, is so much more important. Um, no, you know, I've only hired one that was a writer's assistant on this and stuff. You could essentially go with a reel if you got in front of the right person. It's have like 160 channels now. And I think that one of the issues for comedies, especially when I'm reading like some of the new shows that they're making, so often they see uh, through commercials or through promo. And like uh, you'd be shocked.
because uh, uh, promo, especially network promo, you know, where they shoot these individual things and network little pieces and stuff, you could essentially go with the real if you got in front of the right person. And uh, uh, you can, you know, because they're looking for people that'll work cheap and it's non union stuff, you know what I mean? And that they can uh, exploit, they graduate a lot of those people to actually directing TV really? apps. Yeah. That's good to know. It's a, it's a cool way in, is uh, one of the guys. He was actually a series director of a pilot last year, and he directed that. He ended up his first assignment was he directed that behind the scenes of Three's Company, you know that John Ritter whatever TV movie. But he started in promo at NBC, and they just liked him, so they pushed him forward. How do you? I mean, how do you get into the the promos? I mean, you just the promo thing because he yeah. literally went to he. I mean, because I got to know him. Literally did an episode of Scrubs. His name's uh -huh. Jason, and I'm, I was trying to hide from that because I forgot his last name. But he he <laughs> what the, he actually um, um, literally went there. So I went to film school. Here's some of the stuff I've shot. I'm looking for a gig, and they, you know, it's not like getting a real, you know, directing gig. Because right. Because they're like, yeah, we, we need somebody who can direct and do some of this stuff. He did it. He started. He got into the guild, you know, as right. a as a result of it. They liked him because they don't care creatively because he was moving things quickly and always under budget. And so, <laughs> and then they're like, hey, why don't we give this TV movie to him? And then suddenly he's being recommended to all their shows, and he ended up awesome. directing yeah. Earl and Scrubs. That's and probably the uh, the best piece of advice I've heard this entire conference. It's because right well, well, one of the things that networks as they have all these people Which is the doing, DGA fellowship thing? No, this is a different no, one. That's no, a, the, the, promo, the promo department of different yeah. networks. Yeah. And by the way, I it's also a good piece of advice yeah. too, I'll tell you, because it's not just the networks anymore, because now that like A&E and, &E and Lifetime are so concentrated on their original programming, right. they shoot a lot of this in-house stuff, and that they can't even afford the good commercial directors, so they just churn it out usually to people that are trying to build a reel. Well, I'm doing free internships now, so really anything yeah, right. more than zero. <laughs> Any or lifetime? I know. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Just one for thought. Just some advice to give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, so last thing is, I, can, yeah. I, I don't have the film with me right now. Yeah, you call a production office. Find, your, uh, you call up Scrubs, you find a production uh, office, find uh, 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 ask for Bill Lawrence. See, I always make people work because they see how serious you are. Ask for Bill Lawrence's assistance extension. You'll actually be able to get that on a normal line. And uh, if you send a DVD with a note, I always watch those. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> totally screwed. Oh, it was, it was very nice meeting you guys. Yeah. It was very nice to meet you. Well. He handed it to Bill and he took it. Even if I walked out to my car and threw it away on the way, it'd make me a pain because every agent is going to have a direct line to you to really respond to is, uh, you know, A, the lie that you're really cool. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for coming to this thing, man. You say hello to Japan. Hey, Japan, how you doing? It's very nice to talk to you. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure, man. Thanks a lot. Come